Some important news for all women this morning. An FDA panel is now backing a new three-dimensional mammography system to screen for breast cancer. The new technology makes it easier for radiologists to see tumors while reducing the false positives. Our medical contributor, Dr. Marie Savar, joins us now live with this. I am thrilled to hear about this, but at the same time, a little bit apprehensive. First of all, start with me. What's, apart from the obvious, the benefit to the 3D versus the 2D? Well, I think this is the first change in mammography that we've seen in some time that could make a big difference. So it is, it is important news. The difference, today women are getting a two-dimensional image. That means a photograph. And you can miss a lot of lumps, tumors, things inside. Or you can falsely think that dense tissue is actually something when it is not. So it leads to lots of callbacks and further x-rays and biopsies. Three-dimensional imaging is new and what they're doing is they're actually looking at multiple pictures of the breast and getting a three-dimensional view of that what looks may look like a tumor like and under can, the layers yes Would what they're doing is they're separating the layers? the layers so that instead of using your you, sometimes it's blood vessels ligaments that get in the way even dense glandular tissue now they can actually separate out what is glandular tissue what is a blood vessel and then what is this other suspicious area so it also sounds as though there may be more radiation involved with this um, if that's the case and we're doing this every year because that's kind of what the guidelines are suggesting these days um, is that a risk to well, us and do the benefits outweigh those risks well first of all guidelines can always change but let's begin what you do when you're doing this three-dimensional image you're, you're using the woman actually gets into the machine just as she does before you can can't escape your breast being flattened out on that imaging tray. I thought you were going to tell me something better than I know. that. <laughs> People are hoping for that. No, no difference. But you okay. won't even know the difference. But over a four-second period, there, the tube is actually going around the breast, getting those closer images. That means more x-ray. The FDA panel that advised, they felt that that increased x-ray, although obviously always a concern, the benefits far outweighed that. In fact, the manufacturer is guessing that anywhere to as many as 25,000 Breast cancers a year could be diagnosed with this new technology that weren't otherwise being diagnosed, early ones. And maybe as many as a million women can be spared going back for that extra x-ray look that they see on the two-dimensional picture that's really nothing. You know, and I'm, I'm wondering about that, too, because this sort of all comes out in the same week that a study out of Norway suggests yet again that maybe mammography is not all it's cracked up to be. Um, how should we sort of reconcile that study this week with now what we're hearing about the 3D? Well, I think we now know that the two-dimensional mammography is, has lots of limitations. This is new. This may reduce some of those limitations. At the same time, if we're diagnosing more early cancers, are we going to be subjecting women to treatment when those cancers may not have led to um, change in survival anyway? Right. And that's what that earlier study showed this week. There was no change in survival. Well, clearly it's a panel so far that's done this, so we'll be watching for what the FDA does. Thanks so much, but Dr. But an important, important information. Good to hear about